Because uh, uh, I don't know how many people in this room will remember the era when all of the GAT offices were in little U of A houses all over the place. And students would have to. Larry will, of course, remember it because uh, he made the next move with all of this. Uh, students would have to, freshman students would have to dash across Speedway to their conferences. And I think the risk management took a dim view of that. Uh, so. Uh, <laughs> Larry arranged for us to uh, have offices in Babcock. And I'm not even sure what it's called now. It's a residence down there on the corner. So it was a kind of an apartment building. And then Larry arranged for the current digs, which are in the computer center. And, uh, and Barry supervised that move. And one of the momentous things he did in the course of that move was he got a very notorious couch that was in Babcock, moved over to the new building, now in the Barry Briggs Lounge. And Barry was a friend, but he wouldn't tell me the story of that couch. Perhaps there are some people here in this room who know the story of that couch, but I don't. Uh, but it obviously had some stories associated with it. It's over there in the Barry Briggs Lounge. Barry played in a group uh, along with some of the others of us, and I. there will be people like Larry and Jerry Holden, perhaps, and uh, some others who will remember this group. It was called the Composition Blues Band. And it was the creation of Marvin Diogenes, who was here at that time before he moved on to, to Stanford, um, and uh, working as the assistant to the uh, director of writing. And Marvin had incredible ability to take songs that were very, fami very familiar to everyone and um, uh, write lyrics for them that were appropriate to writing program undertakings. Uh, if you Google Marvin, you will find these lyrics and these uh, songs on his webpage still. He used to perform them at uh, Four Seas as well as here. Uh, I was in that band for a bit, and so was uh, Barry. And uh, we thought that today, as a way of invoking the spirit of Barry, before presenting it to yet another very worthy winner. We would have two past winners, Roseanne Carlo and Jessica Shoemake, and I uh, would perform one of these composition blues band songs for you to give you a sense of uh, what happened to her by the tour. Did you uh, did you come up with a name for yourselves? The yeah, adjuncts? <laughs> Se necesita coordinating conjunction. <laughs> coordinating conjunction. Si no tiene, si no tiene semicolon. No soy fragment maker. No soy fragment maker. Soy capitán. Soy capitán. Para 
poner un punto, para poner el punto se necesita una sentencia completa, una sentencia completa, con subject y verba se hace completa. Yo no soy camas pais, yo no soy camas pais, yo soy capitán de conjugación. Es opinión subjetiva, si no tienes, si no tienes los facts todos. Yo no soy ego hombre, yo no soy ego hombre, soy racional. Digo yo soy racional. 